history of computers we are talking about here so when we study the many aspects of computing and computers it is important to know about the history of computers charles babbage designated an analytic engine which was a general computer it help us understand the growth and progress of technology through the times it is also an important topic for competitive and banking exams so let's move forward so what is a computer a computer is an electronic machine that collects information store it process it according to user instruction and then return the results in another way a computer is a programmable electronic device that performs arithmetic and logical operations automatically using a set of instruction provided by the user and if i add one more the computer is an electronic device which takes the input and gives an output so what were the early computing devices so people normally use sticks stones and bones as counting tools before the computers were invented more computing devices were produced as technology advanced and the human intellect improved over time let's look at a few of the early age computing devices used by the mankind so first one is the abacus abacus was invented by the chinese around 4000 years ago it is a wooden rack with metal rods with beads attached to them you can see in the right inside the abacus operator moved the beads according to certain guidelines to complete arithmetic computation so napier bonds uh, you can see at the top the john napier who devised napier bonds you can see in the right hand side a manually operated calculating apparatus for calculating this instrument used nine separate ivory strips or you can see the bonds marked with numerals to multiply and divide it was also the first machine to calculate using the decimal point system third one is the pascalin pascalin was invented in 1642 by blaise pascal you can see the photograph of uh, blaise pascal in the top left corner and uh, the pascalin device in the right hand side a french mathematician and philosopher was the pascalin it is thought to be the first mechanical and automatic automated calculator it was a wooden box with gears and wheels inside stepped reconer or lebnis wheels in 1673 a german mathematician come philosopher named gottfried wilhelm lebnis improved on pascal invent inventions to create this apparatus it was a digital mechanical calculator known as the stepped reconer you can see in the right hand side because it is used fluid drums instead of gears so gears were replaced with fluid drums difference engine in early 1820 charles babbage created the difference engine it was a mechanical computer that could do basic computation it was a steam powered calculating machine used to solve numerous tables such as logarithmic tables so again charles babbage discovered analytic engine uh, created another calculating machine the analytic engine in 1830 it was a mechanical computer that took took input from punch cards it was capable of solving any mathematical problem and storing data in an indefinite memory so you can see in the right hand side lot of struggle has been done before the computers were invented so agusta ada king countess of lovelace was an english writer she became the first world computer programmer she wrote the program for charles babbage mechanical computer the analytic engine in 1844 she wrote the first algorithm to be processed by a machine let's move forward so next is the tabulating machine an american statistician statistician 
Herman Hollerith invented this machine in the year 1890. Tabulating machine was a punch card based mechanical tabulator. It could compute statistics and record or sort data or, or information. Hollerith began manufacturing these machines in his company which ultimately became the first international business machine which is known as IBM in 1924. Differential Analyzer Whenever Bush introduced the first electronic computer, the Differential Analyzer in 1930, this machine is made up of vacuum tubes that switch electrical impulses in order to do calculations. It was capable of performing 25 calculations in a matter of minutes. You can see the machine below, that was very huge one. Mark 1 Howard Aiken planned to build a machine in 1937 that could conduct massive calculations or calculations using enormous numbers. The Mark I computer was constructed in 1944 as a collaboration between IBM and Harvard. ABC In 1942, John Atanasoff and Clifford Berry built the first digital computer. It was not the general purpose computer, but it was called Atanasoft Berry computer. ENIAC and UNIVAC ENIAC, which is known as Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer. It was first general purpose electronic computer. It was invented in 1945. John Mochley and J.P. Eckert had discovered this ENIAC machine. So UNIVAC Universal Automatic Computers was a line of electronic digital stored program computers starting with the products of Eckert Mochley Computer Corporation. Later the name was applied to a division of the Remington Rand Company and successor organization. Third one is the Binac built by the Eckert Mochley again. Uh, the Computer Corporation organization was the first general purpose computer for commercial use. These are known to be the supercomputers here. So what are the supercomputers? Supercomputers were introduced in 1960. They used in field of computational science. A supercomputer is a computer with a high level of performance as compared to a general purpose computer. The performance of a supercomputer is commonly measured in floating point operations per second which is known as flops. In short, instead of million instruction per second, which is MIPS. So UNIVAC was considered among the first supercomputers for the US Navy Research and Development Center. You can see the some of the example CDC 6600 and IBM 7030 were the supercomputers for that era. So in nineteen seventy five, early personal computers were introduced which is IBM PC by the IBM organization and the Apple one is from the Apple. You can see the very old and the first Apple one personal computers and the market Altair that is also known as the early personal computers which were introduced in 1975. So history of computer generations. If we talk about the world computer has a very interesting origin, it was first used in 16th century for a person who used to compute, therefore do calculation, the word was used in the same sense as a noun until the 20th century, women were hired as human compute, computers to carry out all forms of calculation and computations. By the last part of the 19th century, the word was also used to describe machines that did calculations. The modern day use of the word is generally to describe programmable digital devices that run on electricity. So early history of computers, if we talk about again. Since the evolution of human devices have been used for calculation for thousands of years. One of the earliest and most well-known devices was Anna Bakers. Then in 1822, the father of computer Charles Babbage began developing that what would be the first mechanical computer. And then in 1833, he actually designed an analytic engine which was a general purpose computer. It contained an ALU, some basic flowchart principles and concept of integrated memory. 
then more than a century later in the history of computers we got our first electronic computer for general purpose it was the eniac which stand for electronic numerical integrator and computer the inventor of this computer were john w mosley and j presper accord or jp accord and with the times the technology developed and the computer got smaller and smaller and the processing got faster and faster we got our first laptop in april 1981 and it was introduced by adam osborn and epson generation of computers now we are talking about the generation of computers and their features in the history of computers we often refer to the advancement of modern computers as the generation of computers we are currently on the fifth generation of the computers so let's have a look at the important features of these five generation of computers the first one This was from the period 1940 to 1955. This was when machine language were developed for the use of computers. They used vacuum tubes for the circuitry. For the purpose of memory, they used magnetic drums. These machines were complicated, large, and expensive. They were mostly reliant on batch processing systems and punch cards as output and input devices. Magnetic tapes and paper tapes were implemented. so eniac univac 1 edvac and so on are the examples of the first generation computers so let's have the brief major features of first generation computers they use vacuum tubes they were very expensive they were heavy they were very large in size they generated lot of heat eniac edsec and univac are the examples so vacuum tubes in the right hand side you can see they were used in the first generation computers so moving forward to second generation the year 1957 and 1963 were the year of second generation and were referred to as the second generation of computers at the time in second generation computer cobol and fortran were employed as assembly languages and programming languages here they advanced from vacuum tubes to transistors so please make a note that vacuum tubes were replaced with the transistors this made the computer smaller faster and more energy efficient and they advanced from binary to assembly languages for instance ibm 162 or ibm 7094 cdc 1604 cdc 3600 and so forth so brief feature if you are talking about the major features they use electronic devices such as transistors they you they were similar in size to the first generation size were not reduced but they were similar to the first generation computer they were faster in speed than the first generation computer they were less expensive so eniac 1400 ibm 700 cdc 160 are the second generation computers so transistor you can see in the right hand side that were being replaced by that by the vacuum tubes yeah so coming to the third generation that the period was 1964 to 1971 1964 to 1971 while the development of the integrated circuit was the era a single ic integrated circuit is made up of many transistors so many transistors were being combined and uh, contributed into a single assembly like the that is the circuit it's known as integrated circuit it's kind of chip which increase the mic increase the power of computer while simultaneously lowering its cost these computers were quicker smaller more reliable and less expensive than their predecessors like the previous ones high level programming languages such as fortran 2 24 cobol and pascal's programming language one were utilized for example ibm 360 series the honeywell 6000 series and the ibm 370 and 168 were the example of the second, third generation computers so let's talk about the major features they use the electronic devices such as integrated circuit you can see in the right hand side uh, you have seen most of the motherboards computer motherboards uh, containing these kind of chips so these were smaller in size fast in speed more accurate and very less expensive ibm 360 vax 750 but the third generation of computers let's talk about the fourth generation computer the invention of the microprocessor brought along the fourth generation of computers the year 1971 to 1980 were dominated by fourth generation computers c c++ and java were the programming languages utilized in this generation of computers 
For instance, is the star thousand PDP eleven, Cray one, Cray X, MP, and Apple second. This was the when we started producing computer for the home use. So major features they were used devices called microprocessors, very smaller in size, cheaper and faster, very easy to handle, more accurate, less expensive. IBM four three double O and ICL twenty nine hundred was the example of. Uh, fourth generation computer so fifth generation computers we the these computers have been utilized since 1980 and continue to be used now this is the present and the future of the computer world so now now whatever the computer that we are using are the fifth generation computers so the finding aspect of this generation is artificial intelligence the use of parallel processing and superconductors are making this a reality and provide a lot of scope for the future fifth generation computers use UL, ulsi that is ultra large scale integration technology these are the most recent and sophisticated computers c c++ java .net and more programming languages are used for instance we have ibm pentium desktop laptop notebook ultrabook and so on so what are the major features they will be used in artificial intelligence which is a technology to make machine to think and act like human beings and use in robotic designing and the defenses follow us on twins study and uh, oh, just log into our twins study dot in website for unlimited test and mock test series we are covering most of the exams ssc in railways banking defense government medical engineering free mock test and all india level exam at minimal prices and full stack development course by mcp so visit www.twincstudy.in on desktop mobile and unlock the test series and for offers and discounts and offline and online courses just visit us email us